In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed this docx editor inside of your Next.js app. This docx editor allows you to open up uh, existing docx documents or create new ones all directly within your Next.js app without actually having any server-side dependencies running like Microsoft Office or Libra Office to get this possible. This also doesn't convert to any intermediate formats like uh, HTML and edits docx document directly in the memory of the browser. Let's go ahead and jump in. The best place to get started is navigate to docs.uprice.com. You can go ahead and hit get started on the web here. Pick any framework that you want to integrate it with. In this case, we're going to go ahead and uh, do uh, embed it inside of our Next.js app. And to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and look at the example on our GitHub. I'm just going to go ahead and download the zip. Once it downloads it, I will go ahead and unpack it and initialize it. So let's go ahead and extract it. Once we extract it, let's go inside the folder and just go ahead and open it up with our VS Code editor. Inside of here, we're just going to go ahead and install all the necessary dependencies by running npm i. And once we're ready, we can go ahead and run npm run start. And now we have our app running on localhost 3000 and a PDF opens up. Now, what we're going to do here instead is um, we're going to get you this docx editor instead of rendering PDFs. Uh, and to do that, I'm just going to go ahead inside of um, pages and inside of app.js, uh, we're embedding this component. Let's go ahead, take a look. And it's in, inside of index.js. Uh, we're importing PDF from web your component. And instead of opening the initial doc, we're actually going to go ahead and say enable office editing set to true. And that's all we have to do. Oh, let's see what error we're getting. Two instances. Oh, uh, simply just go ahead and uh, reload this. Now, Web, you're going to go ahead and reinitialize in the editing. Ah, I see the typo right here. All right, so the reason it didn't do that, we actually got to bump up the version here uh, to uh, add PDF from Web, you're to the version 10, because uh, this is when the docx functionality got added. Um, so not a big deal. Let's go ahead and switch this to uh, 10, 0, 0. Uh, let's go ahead and now um, do npm i. And then after that, we can go ahead and run npm run start. This reloads it. It puts us, us in the docx editor mode where we can go ahead and create a title. And we can go ahead and switch back to the normal text to start typing. Awesome. Now I can save this off as a docx or a PDF. It's up to me.